So right at the beginning, See? she's back <laughs> in our own time. It didn't work, Mike. It kind of. It will work. It will work. Okay, let's talk about the article. Okay, so we're on day two of our article, right? Yes. And then remember,、um, Shia、mm -hmm. and Roxy. They went to the Mayan times. That's right. Well, first of all, they were at their uncle's place,、mm. and he had all this cool stuff. And they saw something that said "time machine," and they thought, "That's crazy. It must be from a movie." But then Roxy actually got it to work. She pulled the handle, and, or and somehow through some science that I can't do, <laughs> but apparently their uncle can, it actually sent them back in time to the time of the Maya, an、mm -hmm. ancient civilization from what is now Mexico and Central America. But they were there hundreds and hundreds of years ago. So we're on day two,、That's、and right at the beginning. Yeah. Our article tells us、mm. that Roxy and Shia are still in the time of the Maya. Wow! So, so they, they haven't, haven't traveled back in time、mm. or traveled forward in time, but they're starting to have a few problems. Roxy、ah. says, "I'm so hungry. What can we eat here?" This is a very good tip. If you're going to travel through time, bring a picnic lunch. Yeah, sandwich. I should get that on your time、Granola、machine too. Granola bar. That's why I gave you the egg flipper, but I should just give you food. You should probably, yeah. yeah. Okay, so next, Shia says,、mm -hmm. "Well, the Maya didn't have rice." That's absolutely right.、They、and Shia then、it. says they ate a lot of corn and beans. These were their、corn. staple foods. Those are the foods that you eat most frequently in your daily diet. Yes, in Asia here, of course, rice has been the staple for、and、a long noodles, time. Right? Noodles, noodles,、mm -hmm. right? In the West and、uh, Europe, it's always been wheat. For bread, but in the Americas they didn't have that. They had corn and beans. That's right, corn and beans come from Central and South America, and that was their basic food. Hmm. So corn is that、yeah. long kind of. How do you explain it? There's yellow, yellow little kernels. That's little... right. Grows on a big stalk, and、yeah. you often. Break off an ear of corn. We call that an ear of corn, and barbecue it, cook it up, and then eat it like、mm -hmm. that. Or, of course, you can take the dried seeds and turn it into popcorn.、Yeah. But that's corn. You've had it. We also see our first word power word for today: bean. Bean. B e a n. Bean.、Mm. Let's learn more about this word. A bean is a seed that is eaten as a vegetable. It can also have a long outer part with many seeds inside, like a green bean. For example, Nelson had beans and eggs for breakfast. Again, Nelson had beans and eggs for breakfast. And Roxy, well, she's interested in this.、Mm -hmm. She's perfectly happy to try some new food. So she says, "I'll try this." And then she says, "Yummy!" Yummy is just another way of、mm. saying how delicious. That really tastes good. It's yummy. And then she tells us there's turkey in it. Ah,、oh, okay. So it's not chicken. It's not duck. It's turkey, which also, yes, come from the Americas.、Mm -hmm. And then she asks Shia, "Do you want some?" Does he want to try Do some? some? Do you want to try? Okay,、mm -hmm. Shia notices something interesting.、Hmm. Maybe he's not so interested in the food. Okay. He says, "I'm more interested in these pictures."、Ah. Okay. And then he says, "The Maya wrote with pictures." That's right. They did very large petroglyphs. And Rocky, Roxy, she says, "Can you understand them?" She's thinking that maybe、uh, Shia is so smart he can actually understand or read the these pictures. Picture,、mm -hmm. What these pictures say? Yeah, exactly. So understand there is our word power. Our word U N D E R S T A N D under U N D E R stand S T A N D. Put it together, you get understand. To understand something is to know what the meaning of it is. If someone is speaking a language that you know, you will understand the words they are saying. But if they're speaking a language you've never heard before, then no matter what they say, you'll be like, I don't understand. I don't know what you're saying. I don't get the meaning of your words. For example, I can't understand Chinese. Do you speak English? I can understand Chinese. Do you speak English? Shia might not might know a thing or two about the Maya、mm -hmm. people, but he can't read these pictures. Yeah,、okay? a lot of scientists and professors would have a tough time、mm -hmm. reading those. So, what does he say when she asks, "Can you understand these pictures?" Not at 
all. No. He means he doesn't know any anything. He might as well be reading a newspaper in Russian. He really <laughs> doesn't understand what it's all about. But that's okay. He's still a smart guy. So let's move on and see what Roxy has to say next.、Mm -hmm. Roxy says. It'll be hard for us to live in the Maya civilization. Yes, it will be because they don't understand what's going on. This isn't part of their world. They are not part of this civilization. And a civilization is a collected group of people who have a shared history and culture. They've probably built large cities. They、mm -hmm. have different types of jobs for different people. They have a government, maybe an army. So the civilization we live in today is basically a global civilization. But of course, back in history, we had times when the Chinese civilization, the Roman civilization, or the ancient Mayan civilization were very powerful in different places at different times. So, Shia, what does he say? He says, "You're right." You're right. They won't fit in here. They won't fit in. They、no. won't understand what's going on. They're sort of strangers in a strange land.、Mm -hmm. And then he says, "We should try to get home." Yes. Home. Home is our third word power word for today, and it is spelled H O M E. Home. How is it spelled? H O M E. Oh yeah. It's an adverb. When we say we want to go home, that means we want to go to the place where we live. Home. For example, I'm going home now. See you tomorrow. Again, I'm going home now. See you tomorrow. So Shia and Roxy, they need to get back home.、Mm -hmm. They not only have to return to their uncle's house,、yep. right? That's where home is. Yep. But they also need to get back to the year or move forward to the year 2016. Exactly.、Right? They have to travel both through time and through space. That's not going to be easy. Shia then says, "Let's go back to the time machine." Right. That's the one way they have of traveling through time. If that doesn't work, they're going to be in big trouble. They're going to be. They're going to have to live in the Mayan. Basically,、place. they'll have to learn how to speak Mayan and read Mayan. <laughs> and then eat corn and、mm. beans and turkey. turkey. That's, That's not, not so bad. bad. Yeah. Not so bad. Okay. Next, our article tells us that Roxy and Shia tried to use the machine. Oh my gosh! So maybe so, they're pulling something. I don't know. How do they even get there? Well, it seemed when when they started that the first time Roxy did just pull something, but now Shia maybe is taking a slightly more scientific way of、mm. doing it. So Roxy. Says, can you make it work? Can you make the machine do what we want it to? Do you understand how the machine works or operates? Well, Shia, I don't think he knows. I don't think he does、okay. either. Because he says, "I'll just push some buttons、uh. and hope for the best."、Uh. Okay. This so, is this is not a scientific way no, of doing it. No, not at all. Just I hope this works. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the word button first.、Mm. Okay, a button. Is a part of a machine that makes the machine work. Okay, so we turn the machine on, or we make it work by pushing the button.、Mm -hmm. the button. Okay, and then we also see our fourth word power word, push. P U S H. Push. Okay, and it's a verb. The word push means to press a button. Or a switch. For example, in order to turn on your phone, you need to hold down a button on the top. We call this action push. For example, again, push the button at the top to turn on the cell phone. Push the button at the top to turn on the cell phone. So Roxy really gets nervous、mm -hmm. now, and she says, "But that means we may never go get home. They may be stuck in the Mayan time forever." So Roxy thought that maybe Shia would be able to get them home, but that's right. He's just hoping for the best. Didn't really work, yeah. Okay. So Shia gets ready to push the button. Okay. And then he says, "Here goes."、Mm. So we have a magic box lesson for you. What? What happened? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Let's hand it over to our Chinese teacher first, and then we'll come back to the article. Okay. All right. 